heavy infantry is a long-standing concept. In ancient times, people hoped to equip soldiers with heavy protective armor so that they would be invulnerable to swords and guns. This idea has not completely disappeared even today, but it is difficult for humans to achieve it due to the limited capacity of the human body. From ancient times to the present, there are very few strong men who can wear dozens of kilograms of armor and move freely for a long time. In recent decades, with the advancement of material technology, it seems that new ideas have been opened up for heavy infantry. In the 1980s, the Soviet Union secretly experimented with the VOIN-1 assault armor suit, which is a heavy suit that provides full body protection. The total weight of the suit is 62 kilograms. It is said that a certain independent engineering battalion of the Soviet Army conducted tests during the Afghanistan war. This equipment became known to the outside world in the early 1990s, but many details are still unclear. There have been foreign bloggers who introduced the VOIN-1, but it is unknown whether they had the original equipment. The VOIN-1 consists of several parts, including limbs, torso, and head components. The defense of the hands and feet is slightly weaker, considering the necessary mobility. The leg component is in the form of overalls, providing protection only from the front. It is too heavy and needs to be laid flat on the ground first. The soldier lies on it and is then helped by others to fasten it. After that, the soldier stands up and wears other protective gear. The hand protection is like sleeves, enclosing the hands, allowing the soldier to maintain basic flexibility and at least clumsily operate general firearms. The torso and head are the focus of defense. The body protection has multiple layers of armor, reportedly providing composite defense with bulletproof steel plates and Kevlar bulletproof materials, perhaps including ceramic armor. There are pockets on the bulletproof vest, which may be used for attaching additional armor plates. In addition to providing a bulletproof helmet, the head defense also includes a armored face mask. This mask can be folded and mounted on the chest when not in use, and can be raised when in use. The mask has thick bulletproof glass windows for observation, allowing the soldier to directly face enemy firepower. The VOIN-1 provides a level 5 standard of protection. If we refer to the current protection level standards implemented in Russia, it can withstand the impact of 7.62 by 54 mm armor-piercing slash incendiary bullets. However, this level of protection is not as strong as that of an armored vehicle. Bullets can still cause certain impact on the human body. In fact, the VOIN-1 is not successful. Firstly, it is too heavy, making it difficult for even strong soldiers to move while wearing it, especially when carrying weapons and ammunition and enduring hot environments. It would be disastrous if they were to fall. Secondly, it is not flexible at all. Even the joint parts have movable armored protection. A high level of protection means that large movements are impossible. Soldiers can only move slowly, and once the face mask is used, it greatly limits their field of vision, making it difficult to detect targets in a timely manner. Currently, there are no combat suits with such a high level of protection in practical use. There are only bomb disposal suits that are similar in different operational situations. With the continuous development of exoskeletons, it is possible that in the future, combat suits for heavy infantry with practical combat value can be developed.